Compass was a dying church. There were very few new people and they were not welcome. Consultants who were brought in determined the church cared only for themselves and not reaching new people. So Pastor Mike was brought in and slowly made changes with a new purpose, to save the unsaved. Worship was very traditional with liturgy, hymns, organ, and piano. Pastor Mike even wore a robe. A praise band was added along with creative elements and humor in worship. The church came to life with ministries for children, youth, and marriages. And it began to grow rapidly. People's lives were being transformed through a new relationship with Jesus. Many faithful volunteers worked hard to serve and make all these programs possible because they believed in the vision to reach the lost. As the church grew rapidly, worship was moved to the gym and that quickly filled. We ran out of space. So a building team was put together to find a new location. God had big plans for Compass as one of the biggest buildings on South Main became available. Plans were drawn for a 1,500-seat worship center near our Padre campus. It was a big vision, but our congregation wanted more people to experience what they had found at Compass. The church sacrificially pledged $7.5 million to pay for the new space to make room for others. Construction began and our current facility was built. It wasn't long before we ran out of space for children. Again, Compass stepped up, giving sacrificially so the building next door could be purchased to make Kids Central possible. Hundreds of volunteers worked over several weekends to convert an old store into a state-of-the-art children's facility. Because of their work, each week our incredible children, staff, and volunteers teach our kids Christian values and morals. Outreach programs like Christmas on Main Street were started and reach over 7,000 people a weekend with a cast of 150 volunteers. As Marita began to grow, we launched a satellite campus. Again, the church stepped up and for over six months, volunteers came together and converted an old bar into a beautiful church. Even COVID didn't stop Compass's heart to help the hurting. Compass never canceled a service. Because of our investments in technology, we were ready for online worship. Pastor Mike preached to an empty worship center and because they were committed to worship, despite the risks, our worship team faithfully served each Sunday. When it was safe, Compass was one of the first churches to open with live worship. The church is roaring back to life. We've had over 50 adult baptisms this year, launched new programs for kids, moms, marriage support, and hired Josh as our youth pastor. We have programs for women, seniors, and life groups that are making a real difference. Because of our TV and online services, our church extends well beyond our walls. Each week, Prisoners all over the state watch our services online as God's Word impacts and transforms their lives. Not only has the church changed over the last 35 years, Pastor Mike has gone from his Sunday robe to his suit and his famous Hawaiian shirts. We're all going to miss his Hawaiian shirts. Very few of us have been here for the whole journey as Compass was transformed from the stale, dying church of the 80s to the flourishing church we love today. We give thanks to Jesus for all He has done at Compass. We stayed faithful to Jesus and we believe He has been faithful to Compass. We celebrate all who have made this journey possible.